Hello again. Uh, this time, small update on the ice maker. Last time I showed you this design. Simple ice generator over here, bug switch and 2-bit counter. Uh, why I needed this counter? Well, after the ice generates, the pistons and the water create three more block updates. So in the end we have four block updates and only every fourth block update means you have to push out ice block. So therefore I needed this 2-bit counter. MD Gates mentioned he uh, also created an automatic ice maker but he didn't use the counter, he used a delay which blocks the bug switch from reacting. Well, um, that way you can create very compact versions, much com more compact than this one. And I played around with it and I think I found one of the most compact versions you can build at the moment. This is a completely automatic ice maker. Uh, all the wiring over here, two torches, four dust, two repeaters and three pistons around. Um, well, let's make a test. You see, the outcoming ice box will also uh, stop the water from flowing. Uh, the bug switch over here also pushes out the blocks, the ice blocks. We have a second bug switch here, which will detect that ice blocks are coming out and uh, will start the resetting. Um, if the block moving moves out, input over here, torch goes off. Um, this torch goes on, the piston will push out this block and therefore resets the first but after a small delay also this block which will be pushed out at this moment um, will update so this but resets and so the whole system can return to normal state uh, if it somehow gets corrupted by whatever lag maybe with a simple button, works the same way, everything gets returned to normal. I think it works pretty good. Uh, I made it as compact as I can do it. I don't know how I should compress it more. Um, yeah, uh, thanks Andy Gates for this very cool idea. You see, the delay works much better than the counter and pretty stable. That's all. Thanks for watching.